Now I'd like to share with you a practical application that we saw in our own practice of someone who needed to start from the very basics, from Investing 101. We had a circumstance of a dentist who had their own dental practice, whose CPA had referred her to us. And she came to us and was very open and frank and explained that she was not knowledgeable about investing. Uh, she wasn't sure how everything worked. And she didn't really even know how to start. And would we take things slowly with her? Well, we not only did that, we went to her office to see how she ran her practice and what she needed to that for us to provide, not only in the way of education to help her get started, but also to provide for her needs. Uh, to our surprise, she did not have much in the way of information other than she knew that the plan she had in place at this time was wholly inadequate and uh, that she also needed some financing for her practice. So together we went through just what I went through in the video about investing 101. Why should you invest? What are your choices? What are the key factors to keep in mind? And how do you manage the portfolio? Very slowly. We incorporated that with our discovery meeting to get to know more about her and her past experience and her future needs. Now, what this turned out to be was a whole new world for her. Obviously a professional in her own right, but she had no knowledge, had never taken any courses on any of this. So everything was new and intimidating. So we took our time and explained very slowly. And she did start to understand and grasp the concepts that we were explaining. So um, also by taking it slowly, she realized that we were there to help her that we were not pulling a fast one on her. Uh, we were going to go through each of her options and discuss the pros and cons of each. And together, we would put together a plan at a rate of speed with which she was comfortable. Now, through both of this education and the discovery meeting, we were able to determine what her pain points were and how we could provide value. I mentioned that she needed more funding for her practice. And we were able to put her in touch with a business banker that could talk to her about getting a business loan, uh, also about setting up a corporate checking account and being able to um, make payroll and take in credit cards for payments for her dental practice and everything to do with business banking. We also talked to her about how she might not be ready right now to set up a 401k plan, but she did have an IRA from her prior um, investment experience. And that while she was building her practice, it would be very important for her to keep up with that IRA and to max it out and make sure that she made contributions every year. Then when we could or when she was able to set up either a SEP, a Simplified Employer Pension Plan, or go for the full-blown 401k that would benefit her employees, uh, we would move in that direction as well. But we wanted to take this slowly because she had quite a learning curve ahead of her. Now, she loved this idea and she was very curious about how to manage the funds once she started piling them into the IRA account. So we discussed what is a core investment portfolio and we went through the risk tolerance questionnaire in order to determine the proper asset allocation for her. Now, since in this case, it was abundantly clear 
that her objective was growth. She felt behind the eight ball. She needed to catch up. She wanted her investments to grow faster than the rate of inflation. We showed her a growth oriented or moderately aggressive oriented, depending upon which word you use, strategy that used mutual funds that had an audited track record. And she was absolutely thrilled. We also talked about, since it was professionally managed investment strategy, that the manager would do the rebalancing and that we would not have to call her when it was time to rebalance. Well, she was equally pleased with that because she had a practice to run and she did not want a lot of phone calls just to say, yes, go ahead and do that. So now we had a plan. And the next steps were that we had to put this plan in motion. And most importantly, the client understood that they had an advisor who was going to guide them through whatever market conditions would come her way. The bottom line is clients can be the most sophisticated individuals in their own right. But without proper guidance, they can very easily indeed build a very poor plan. And even with just the investment basics, which we've been talking about throughout this video, their odds of navigating to a successful retirement become a lot more likely and a lot easier. So thank you for watching our video here today. I would encourage you to take a look at our website, which is uh, located here at the bottom, investmentquestions.wordpress.com, where you can pick up on our videos and watch the videos. Uh, and you can also read the bios of each of the professionals who appear on our show. In addition, I would encourage you to look at our YouTube channel, and to subscribe. And if you want to be kept apprised of upcoming shows, be sure to hit that bell. And in this video, I referred to and would ask you to review the video on the core and satellite investing, as well as the um, four levels of service within the financial services industry. Because what we talked about today was on the third and fourth level. They're a little bit on the automated device, but not much because you're left to your own devices and it's not there at all in do-it-yourself. So for those of you who are thinking about seriously about getting serious about investing, those are two videos that are very much worth your while. Thank you for joining us here on Investment Questions. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to tell your friends to subscribe. And remember, here at Investment Questions, we discuss the things that you need to know in order to grow, protect, and ultimately distribute your net worth. Thank you. Join us again.